Space Bar. The electric scooter inspired by robot anime. Remember the Honda Moto Compo, the cute folding scooter from the early 1980s that could fit in the trunk of a car. We've often thought that Honda should revive it, and it looks like we're not alone. Catalyst have just released details of their latest creation, and it's the spiritual successor to the Moto Compo. Called, Space Bar, it weighs just 132 pounds, 60 kilograms, and it's a smidge under 4 feet 8 inches long, about a foot shorter than a modern Honda Grom. With the bars folded down, the Space Bar is just 34 inches tall. So it'll fit in the back of a subcompact car, just like the original Moto Compo did. The big difference is in the power unit. Catalyst version has a 1200W motor sucking juice from a 48 volts lithium battery. It's good enough for a range of 60 kilometers and a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour, which is probably as far and as fast as you'd want to go, given the minuscule size of the thing. Catalyst is headquartered in South Jakarta, Indonesia, with a separate fabrication factory some 20 kilometers away in Sibubur. The company is positioned as a mobility design studio and workshop. It's basically a collective of design professionals with serious skills and a taste for irreverence. This is not Catalyst's first foray into electric scooter design. Just over a year ago, they revealed a concept based in the Celis Garuda, a 500W electric scooter sold in Indonesia. Spacebar, however, is an altogether much more sophisticated beastie. And it's strong enough to carry a rider and luggage weighing up to 265 pounds, 120 kilograms. The Spacebar is a ground-up build, with a frame built out of extruded 2.2 mm aluminum tube. This has been refined over several versions, the battery in this latest iteration has been moved closer to the front of the frame for extra stability. The motor is harnessed to an off-the-shelf Votal AQ controller, but the suspension has been designed in-house, using heavy-duty mountain bike shocks front and rear. Catalysts have adopted what appears to be a leading link setup at the front, and the spec sheet shows 3mm aluminum square tube for both the forks and the swing arm. The wheels are 10-inch scooter items, with custom-made covers and disc brakes front and rear. The rims are shot with locally made Primax SK51 Godzilla tires. They're probably not what you'd choose for the smooth asphalt of Singapore or Hong Kong City, but they look good and should do the job in Jakarta and the surrounding areas. The star of the show here is the bodywork though, fashioned from 6061 aluminum and painted to evoke the vibe of 1980s and 1990s mecha or robot anime. According to designer Julian Palapa, the mecha anime cartoons at that time were predominantly in red, blue and yellow colors. So we've used colors and graphic elements inspired by those giant, sophisticated robots. It's pure nostalgia and works brilliantly with the angular lines. Catalysts have called this particular spacebar build the Quattro P as a nod to their client, local architect Prada Naharsa. He placed his order after seeing Catalyst mentioned in the international design media, and then discovered that it was a local project. The spacebar has been in production since January, and Catalyst are already in discussion with several brands to create custom versions. If you'd like to put one in your garage, it'll cost a very reasonable RP65,000, which equates to US$4,500. Catalyst may soon have some competition, though. Last year, Honda filed a trademark in the US to use the name, Moto Compo, for an electric scooter. Whatever could they be planning? 